90. We start our second video with Silkworm taking 90th place. A true classic, an awesome coin up conversion that some people claim surpasses even the original. Frantic, smooth horizontal shoot em up action with excellent two player mode, giving a choice of playing either as a helicopter or a jeep. The sound effects and the explosions in Silkworm are some of the best in the Amiga library of games. Another classic for 89th place, Gods by the Bitmap Brothers. You control a hero who must complete four difficult levels full of arcade adventure bliss so as to become a god yourself. I didn't used to like it back in the day, but I managed to discover the merits of this game recently and I am a fan now. Check out my full review on this one. 88. Black Dawn Rebirth gets 88th place and this is a recent game released in 2019 by Double Sided Games. The Black Dawn series contains quite a few shareware sci-fi RPGs of decent quality, but Black Dawn Rebirth tops the series with its polished production, unique atmosphere and great gameplay. It even offers three versions and I have already reviewed the second one, so make sure to check that one out as well. 87. Marvel Madness gets 87th place and this is a 1986 Amiga coin-op conversion by Electronic Arts that is almost arcade perfect. You have to guide a ball, avoiding various obstacles and enemies and reaching the exit as fast as you can. Solid controls, Fun and addictive gameplay and excellent graphics and sound make for an Amiga game that you shouldn't miss. The two player option is a blast as well. 86 In 86th place we find James Bond 2 Robocop a 1991 platformer from Millennium. Following a lukewarm first game in the series which everybody loved for some unknown reason, this second game sets the record straight. A huge platformer with fun mechanics, outstanding variety and great colorful graphics, this is one of the best platformers out there for the MIGI. A must play, even if you're not a fan of this genre. 85 Lemmings 2 is in 85th place and this is a charming sequel to the brilliant Lemmings game. This game adds a ton of new abilities and different worlds and settings so it can be overwhelming for the people that fell in love with the simplicity of its elder brother. Nevertheless, Lemmings 2 is heaps of fun to play, has a great soundtrack and will have you pulling your hair out trying to save the adorable little critters. 84 Populous 1 and 2 by Bullfrog share the 84th place and if you wanted to play God, these games are right up your alley. Hours seem to flow as if they were minutes as you raise the land to make it suitable for settlement by your people. If you fancy to wreak some havoc upon your enemy, 
All the good old stuff is here, including earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, but thankfully no COVID pandemics. Eighty-three. Alien Breed 3D gets eighty-third place. The Amiga was quite late in getting a Doom port, and software houses released a bunch of Doom clones to fill the gap. Alien Breed 3D by Team 17 was one of the best of these clones, and certainly the best game of the Alien Breed franchise. Hard as nails, but with an atmosphere that surpasses even Doom. This is a fantastic first-person shooter that definitely deserves your attention. 82 In the 82nd place we find Turrican 2 another one of the timeless Amiga classics. There is a lot of exploration to be done, mighty bosses to be annihilated, and quite a few secrets to uncover. With fast, smooth gameplay and a fair difficulty curve, as well as one of the best soundtracks ever to grace the MIGI, courtesy of Mr. Chris Hulsbeck, Tarikan 2 is a shoot em up platformer you should play at least once. 81 We finish this video with FTL's Dungeon Master in 81st place. This is the definitive dungeon crawler in which you gather a party of 1 to 4 players and set off to fight monsters and solve devious puzzles while surviving hunger, thirst and darkness. Not only a genre-defining, timeless classic, but a great game in its own right, Dungeon Master was released back in 1988, but it plays very well even today. If it could be modded to include some modern quality of life features, it would definitely be up there in my top 20.